Hey guys, this is Josh with Solution Based Plumbing Heater. Okay, we have checked the pressure, we have added some water to the system, and now we're gonna go about bleeding the rads. You may need to add water several times during this process. If you feel the air pressure lessening as you're doing it, you're just gonna go back to step two and put more water in the system and continue the bleeding the rads as you'll see next. We're doing the companion to how to fill your boiler with how to bleed your radiator. Um, you're gonna need a small bucket of some sort. I like to have a set of paper towels, I'll show you why in a second, and a rad key. You may also need a flathead screwdriver. Um, some of the newer loose key valves require a flathead screwdriver. I don't recommend using that, that side. It just doesn't, it eats up the valve. It's no good. But for the old style ones like this, you're gonna set your key in there. You wanna have a reasonable amount of pressure as you turn it, and you wanna turn it very evenly so that you don't do any damage now as you can see this water is running right down the rad and it's not able to go in the bucket that is why I recommend having a paper towel this way you can open and bleed the rad without getting water all over the floor because often these are painted over and they're pointed in the wrong direction and all manner of things that make them difficult to bleed without getting water all over the place you're going to want to start bleeding on the first floor and work your way up just like you fill a cup of water fill your system the same way if you have to during the process and you don't have an auto feed you're going to need to add boiler water every time you go downstairs i would put the boiler water up to about 20 pounds and then go about bleeding until you run out of pressure and then go over and do it again at the end of the process you're going to want to make sure you have 12 to 15 pounds of pressure inside the boiler um, unless you're a three-story house then you're going to want 18 pounds um, this will ensure that the system operates properly i cannot say to you enough do not do this to a hot vessel if your temperature is over 140 degrees then you should wait turn it off wait until it has cooled down and then add water otherwise you could ruin your entire system 